And then there's a question about the pizza back in the day. All right. Guy goes on a local radio show in Salt Lake City and says, I was the guy who made it, delivered it. I worked for Pizza Hut. And then we had Otto from Park City, Utah, saying, I was a gourmet chef back then. I still have businesses there now. Not a shot that a Pizza Hut was open in the middle of June. And there was another establishment that we know made the pizza for him and sent it to him. It wasn't purposely poisoned, but could have been that. We found ourselves in the middle of that story. Chris in Park City, Utah. We got a lot of fans in Park City, Utah. You got something else for us, Chris? Am I on with you? You are indeed. Uh, hi. Very first off, very nice to talk with you guys. Thank I'm you. a big fan. I've been watching you since since you came on. Also, Thank a big you. fan of Dan Patrick, five seven one eighty strong. <laughs> bing bing. Uh, very good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I uh, it was a place called Lakota. Yes. Was the name of the restaurant. That's what Otto said uh, yesterday, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Otto and I worked at a we worked together at a sushi bar across the street that doesn't exist anymore either, called Mikado. Basically, all the places in this story in Park City don't exist anymore. Pizza Hut's gone, Lakota's gone, <laughs> uh, okay. Mikado's gone. And so what do you do you you got anything to add on that or you just Oh yeah, yeah. So sure. So here's the deal. I was there that night. I don't remember if I was working. But I was there that night, and our owner was a guy. I don't want to say his name. I hope that's cool. Uh, sure. He uh, he uh, he had this big plan because Lampley, Jim Lampley, was one of his partners that he thought he could get in the door if he delivered food. And they called over late night, and they made him a couple pizzas. And just to let you know, the food wasn't very good at this place. So I'm not saying that that it it made him sick, but it made a lot of people sick, and I didn't really like to eat there, and I was one of the employees. Oh, so there you go. my gosh. <laughs> so if you're yeah. s- you're saying, Chris, it's it's par for the course that uh, the food might not have been up to snuff that Jordan received yeah. that night. Yeah, I, I am saying that. <laughs> yep. There you go. Yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.